Southern people, don't say nothing bad about them. They kept us safe the whole time. One of the many emotional stories out of Pennsylvania tonight after an officer-involved shooting. Hundreds of officers descended on one block after a gunman opened fire. We first brought you this breaking news at 5 o'clock. Our coverage continues tonight as we confirm six officers were shot. Right now, there's still a very tense situation in Pennsylvania. The suspect is still inside the home. Two officers were inside with that person for several hours. They are out tonight. This whole situation started when officers were investigating investigating a drug case. Our Colleen Quigley spoke to a retired officer who's been in situations similar to this one in Pennsylvania. Colleen. Yeah, and Angela and Maurice, when we see situations like this, it really reminds us how dangerous the job of a police officer is. And really nobody knows that better than retired NYPD Detective Sergeant Robert Young, who spent years serving warrants just like those officers in Philadelphia were doing today, and tells me it only takes a second for things to change. <laughs> The sounds and images out of Philadelphia Wednesday are heart-stopping. More shots are being fired right now. But it's a scene all too familiar to Robert Young. Flip of a second. I mean, it's it's really fast. Uh, did warrants, knocked on the door, and shotgun round went over the top of my head. Young, a retired NYPD detective sergeant, now lives in the Triangle and runs the 1013 Club for fellow former first responders. He says after hearing the news that six officers were shot, he immediately thought of their families. My greatest fear is that my wife would get a phone call in the middle of the night saying I'm at the hospital and hurt and she got several of those situation right now. Philadelphia police say Wednesday's shooting started as an officer attempted to serve a warrant. They went into the building looking for somebody maybe on narcotics, but once they got through that door, it became something more. Something Young says he did frequently when he was an officer, a routine situation that can turn dangerous in a split second. You don't know what they did 20 minutes before the day before that they might be wanted on. They think you're there for that reason. You're there to pick them up on a drug case, but maybe they just did a homicide you're not aware of. So they're, they're raised up, they're shooting, and now we have to look at the worst. Our office is getting shot. All right, we do have a piece of good news we can share with you tonight. We just learned all of the officers who were shot are now in stable condition. They're expected to be okay, and they are actually expected to be released tonight.